This is the Liverpool Institute, and it was here on a Wednesday evening at quarter to eight in 1865 that the Hope Street Mutual Improvement Society came together to hold their weekly meetings. They discussed the desirability of opening up the liquor trade one week and the political and social condition of Ireland the next. Hello, I'm Dr Catherine Charlwood, and I'm fascinated by 19th century mutual improvement societies. Mutual improvement societies, sometimes called literary societies or even literary and scientific institutions, were local groups where working class men, sometimes women, although mainly men, uh, would come together one evening a week and seek to improve themselves through education. They would listen to lectures, they would hold debates, sometimes they even began little lending libraries. And as Watson points out here, it's a really wide range of educational, social, political and religious activities that these groups are involved in. Now, my interest in mutual improvement grows out of some research I've been doing into 19th century Welsh mutual improvement. And I've been going to archives across Wales. So there's Gwent archives in Ebervale. In the middle is the National Library of Wales, Aberystwyth. And on the right is Bangor University's archives and special collections. And one of the things that fascinates me is how many of these societies there were. Um, so when I say local, this could be quite often they're named uh, based on a street, right? So Hope Street Mutual Improvement Society in Liverpool. And just to give you a sense of the scale of success that some of these had, the Ebervale Mutual Improvement Society began in 1849 and later renamed itself to a literary and scientific institution. And by 1855, they actually had their own premises, a physical institute, which was paid for by the ironworks in Ebervale. Um, and a lot of the, the members came from this ironworks. So another aspect of these societies is that they're often very connected to the local industries. On the 19th of November, I'm going to be hosting an online mutual improvement cafe. And I'm inviting you to come along to find out why did working class people come together of a weekday evening? And what kind of things were they seeking to learn? To explore some 19th century sources, and so that we can discuss together, if mutual improvement societies existed today, what would we be debating, reading, and what kind of skills would we be seeking to equip our members with? No prior knowledge is required, and all are welcome. When it comes to the cafe itself, I will look quite a lot like this because this is going to be a virtual meeting via Zoom, as you can see on the screen. Um, now we're going to use Zoom and also Mural, which is an online collaborative tool so that I can let you explore some 19th century sources and ask some questions. And don't worry if you're not used to this technology because A, it's very easy and B, a week before the event itself, I'll run a sort of trial session so that you can test it out for yourselves if you wish to. Because this is a virtual cafe rather than one that happens in person, sadly, I can't offer you a hot beverage. However, please do come along with tea, coffee, a beverage of your choice as you attend this mutual improvement cafe for the Being Human Festival 2020. The Being Human Festival is the UK's only festival of the humanities. Details of how to register for this event appear below the video. You can register on Eventbrite and I look forward to seeing you there.